Hi guys, in the previous lecture I told you how to create a new layer, how to deal and change all the properties of a certain layer. And as you can see, we have created this layer which is called drawing and changed the color of lines in this to red. Now as you can see, this tells you whether this layer is on or off. This is for the freeze, and we have frozen this layer. See? And this is for the lock. Okay. Now, this bar here tells you in which layer you are. So, when we click on the drawing, the current layer is the drawing. When we click on zero, you can see that we are on layer zero. So, when you create anything or any object, you can see that it is drawn or created with the properties of the current layer. And when you move, for example, for drawing and then create anything, you can see it is created with the properties of the drawing layer. Okay? Let's, for example, assume that we want to change this circle from this layer to the layer 0. What to do? Just activate it or select this circle, move here, and select the layer 0. And now see, it is moved from this, from the drawing one, from the drawing layer to the 0 layer. See, when you just point at this, when you point at this circle, you can see that the layer is zero. When you point at this object, it is in the layer drawing. See? Very easy. Now let's, for example, assume that you have this detailed drawing or this detailed object. And you want to modify some small or little things on this drawing. And you think or this circle is confusing you and it is making the job very hard. And you want to hide this object. What to do? You have to go to something that is called what? The freeze option. So, objects on frozen layers are invisible. Okay? So, when you just click on this option and then select this object, all, as you can see, all the objects on the frozen layer are hidden. Now you can work on your small details, creating lines here, there, okay? And then, once you are done, you can go to something which is called, under this, this is the freeze. Underneath it, you can see the thaw all layers. And all the layers that were previously frozen will be unfrozen. Click on it. And see, all the objects of the frozen layer now visible for you. Let's, for example, you want to work on small details of this circle, not the other thing, on this layer. You got something which is called isolate, okay? So once you isolate an object, you can see that all the layers or all the drawings of other layers will be what hidden. But this is the one that you have chosen will be the only one shown for you. Okay? Let's, for example, now let's just move it back to the other one, the unisolate. This is the isolate, this is the unisolate. Let's create another layer from here, as we said. Go to new. Let's put the text, enter, let's change the line for example for this, okay, I don't want it to be a continuous, so let's for example be continuous, okay, now we're done, go to close, let's go to the text one and let's just create a single line here. Specify start point, the height will be for this, in this direction. Now let's just put a circle. 
double enter as we say and let's move it for example from this point here now as you can see once you have some complicated drawings or something like this you want to work on this circle alone there is a lot of intersection and a little bit confusing for you and this is where you use the isolate thing you want to only work on this circle so you go to isolate and select this circle press enter and all the objects of other layers will be hidden just only the objects on the certain layer that you have chosen will be only shown or will be visible for you now you can work on the small details that you want to work on if you want to go back you just select and isolate and all the layers will be visible again see now we have worked on the on and the off thing we have worked in the isolate and the unisolate I told you how to use the freeze and the throw all now let's go to lock what if you wanna work on small details but you want all the objects to be shown for you because this little bit modification modification will be connected to each other so you want all the objects to be shown but you don't want to modify them so what to do you go to something which is called lock for example I wanna what I wanna modify this line but I don't want this circle and this text here to be what to be modified so I go to something called lock I chose this object and then choose this object go to lock again with this object as you can see it is a little bit transparency of the locked layers will be a little bit off as you can see it is locked and now this is locked you only can work on the unlocked one now go to this object for example do the modification do the things change the color you can you can change the color of this is something I will tell you right now. Now, to unlock the object, go to this, unlock this, and then go to this, and unlock it again. See? Very easy. Now, for example, what if you want to change the properties of only one object, not the whole layer, just this object? You go to the properties over here. This is where you change the properties of the drawings or the object let's change for example the line of this the color of this line let's make it for example yellow let's change the thickness of this line let's go there change it for this for example now let's go to this layer and change it for example for hidden now as you can see you can change the properties of a single object on the drawing by going to the properties palette if you want to change the properties of a whole layer you go to what go to the layers and layers property okay and that's it for working with layers and putting things on the layers